what is good guys it's ray j back with another video and this one i'm going to be breaking down what's going on with tesla spy and a couple of other tickers i'm going to be talking about what's going on with the cybershook event that's coming up very soon and also with the economic calendar as we have more information coming out for tomorrow uh, i'm going to be talking about the charts as well but let me first say that i am not a financial planner so take nothing i say as financial advice and also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. It not only benefits me, it benefits the entire community as a whole. So anyways, let's talk about what's going on with the market. Looking at Tesla, this thing is selling off quite a bit approaching the Cybertruck event. And SPY is also starting to look weaker if you guys look at this on the 4-hour time frame. I know it just balanced for the last like couple of minutes, trying to push up a tiny bit. But overall, it's still looking weak when it comes to the much bigger trend. So what's going on with the markets right now? One of the most significant things that's coming up will be Tesla Cybertruck events. As a reminder, it's going to be happening at 2 p.m. Central time or at about like 12 p.m. noon for the West Coast for Pacific time. And if you're on the East Coast, it's going to be at 3 o'clock p.m. So it's starting in about an hour from now at the time I'm recording this. We're expecting to see 10 uh, cyber trucks to be delivered to employees, or it could be more than that, like 12, uh, depending on your source. But if anything, this is good news for them as they're going to be unveiling this product to officially be delivered and such. However, I just want to note that Tesla was pumping, approaching the big event, and now it's starting to sell off a bit, looking weaker. We'll see what happens once the event starts. So I have an analysis that's like more in-depth uh, to be going over a little bit later, it's a little bit more tricky to predict what Tesla is going to do during the event. So I can't truly predict that, but I can tell you that we're still looking bearish from a technical standpoint. And there's a good chance of some downside that's coming. For the overall market, I just want to mention that all the economic data that came out for today was as expected. But for Friday, which is tomorrow, we have the manufacturing numbers coming out. Then we have Jerome Powell giving a speech at 11 o'clock a.m. So we'll be watching to see what Jerome Powell causes. But I just want to call out something very important. And it's very, very simple. My analysis is super simple for now. Could we try to pump a bit? Sure. We have some resistance right here. Uh, I think we also have VWAP to be looking for. Let me just bring back VWAP. Uh, I think VWAP is like right here. That's when I was looking at it at 454.4. Uh, don't forget that above that we have 455 as resistance. SPY has quite a bit of resistance coming ahead of it. Uh, but I also want to mention that I'm just going to close VWAP for a second. On the daily charts on SPY, this is very important. This is looking bearish. It's just barely holding up. We have we had a triple and a quadruple bearish divergence developing on different time frames. And on the daily chart, we have a bearish divergence. We're about to get a bearish crossover on the MACD, the PPO. It looks like it's going to retrace for 446. Potentially, that's where the, like this gap support happens to be. And eventually, maybe even fill the gap if we lose that so back down to 440. So it looks bearish. I'm anticipating downside for next week. For now, could we chop a little bit between you know this 453.5 zone to 455? Sure. But I think there's more downside coming. Ultimately, I still hold the same view on SPY. Tesla on the daily trust looking a little bit weaker, but I'm not officially bearish on Tesla or like a lot more bearish until we lose 230. I just want to mention that when it comes to Tesla, uh, I'm not as certain about the super short term because it depends on the Cybertruck event. Cybertruck, the, the event could cause a little bounce on Tesla. We could retest 242 or we could just continue sinking. That's why I just want to call out some levels. So when it comes to Tesla, right? If you're bullish on Tesla, you need to see it break and hold 250. Then we can push for 260 plus. Uh, if you're in the middle, you want to see it just kind of be stuck between 238. That's where we have support. And then we have this resistance at 242.5 and then 245. And if you're bearish, you want to see it lose 238 and eventually sink down towards 235 and then 233. If we continue to break below 238, I anticipate more selling for Tesla because the four hour is going to look more bearish, basically from a technical standpoint. Uh, we have the 50 EMA acting as support. If we lose this, 233 is going to be our next level at the 200 EMA. So from a technical standpoint, we look bearish, but I don't know for sure about what's going to happen for, for the rest of the day for Tesla because it depends on the Cybertruck event. And we'll see if this causes a balance on Tesla or not. If anything, however, if we just ignore the event and just go moving forward, the market still looks bearish for December, at least the start of December. And so does Tesla. I think there could be some downside just based off technicals alone. Uh, so we'll see what this leads to. Yes, Tesla looks bearish from a technical standpoint. But we'll see what happens during the Cybertruck event, which is about to start. When it comes to Apple, this is very simple. We're looking bearish. We're continuing to sell off. The levels are very, very straightforward. So basically, make sure you're watching 188. If we lose this, watch 186. 
Uh, if we lose that, we have this gap very close to 185, so the entire 180, 185 to 186 zone. If we lose that, so if we break below 185, 182 is coming. We look bearish on the daily, so I anticipate some more downside. Watch 188 to break for 185 to 186 to be coming. On the QQQ, we look bearish. We're about to get a bearish cross on the PPO. If we keep selling off, make sure you watch the support at the 20 EMA. I think one, uh, not one, 381.5 is going to be tested soon if we lose 385. And I think that the odds favor that. If we lose this support, I think that we're going to be sinking down to fill the gap at 377. So I anticipate more downside. The daily is looking more bearish. And I think we're most likely going to see that happening. NVIDIA is going to likely continue selling off too. The daily has this... 50 EMA to be watching for. Uh, also on the four hour, our 200 EMA is acting as support at this 463-ish area. So I'm thinking NVIDIA is at support at 463, but we're looking bearish overall. Look for a little pop before this thing continues to sink. If we lose 463, I anticipate it's going to get very close to 459. I think NVIDIA looks bearish overall as this thing has just been continuing to downtrend. I was talking about NVIDIA failing in my earlier videos. I was talking about downside coming to the markets. If you look at this, the downside is here. Everything is red right now. SPY is still red. I know SPY is trying to pop a little bit, but I still think there's downside coming. Everything is still quite red. So, you know, the downside is still perpetuating. We'll be watching to see what happens to Tesla, though. Tesla could still flip depending on the Cybertruck event. So just be open minded and just be prepared for anything. I personally can't predict what's going to happen during the event and you know, like make any promises about the share price during that time. But I can tell you that from a technical standpoint, Overall, the bigger trend is looking weaker on Tesla uh, based off what we're seeing. And there could be more selling going into tomorrow just based off technicals. I just can't say it with super high certainty. And so we'll see what happens after the event. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Don't forget Jerome Powell's speech tomorrow. Plus, we have manufacturing numbers in the morning tomorrow. And then for today, we have the Cybertruck event coming out within an hour from the time I'm recording this, okay? So get ready for the Cybertruck event. We'll see how that goes. We'll also be watching for some other details. And with that being said, thank you all so much for listening. Have a great day, guys. Remain calm, cool, and collected. And uh, one more thing I just wanted to mention. Uh, sorry, I, I don't want to end the video right here. One more thing. I just want to mention that uh, for Microsoft, we're also turning around. Like this finally got the rejection we were talking about in testing 375. Uh, look, it's looking bearish, especially on the daily. I, I just wanted to call this out. And then uh, with Microsoft potentially selling off, I just want to mention that the VIX is finally popping as we predicted. We finally got a nice pop on the VIX. We're about to get a bullish daily cross on the PPO, which should be launching this up higher. VIX is looking bullish. SQQQ looks bullish. And the dollar index is also looking bullish. It went to my exact target at 103.5. And it looks like it's still bullish. So just wanted to call that out, guys. A lot of what you're seeing in the charts is what I was talking about yesterday and the you know previous days. Meta came down towards our targets. We were calling out Meta dropping below 325. We we're talking about Amazon getting a rejection that happened. Almost everything happened as expected. Even Tesla selling off. So I'm you know I'm leaning more bearish in the markets, but we'll see what happens with Tesla. So just be patient and we'll see how it goes. Anyways, once again, guys, thank you for listening. That's it for now. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Thank you, and peace out.